Hey what's up guys, Virtually here back again with another video and the Geoni eLife S7 is a great device. I've been using mine for quite a while now and the full review of the phone should be coming out very soon on the channel so make sure to stick around for that if you're interested. Now the phone actually runs on Android 5.0 Lollipop out of the box with Geoni's own skin on top of it called Amigo UI 3.0. Now whether you actually like it or not, the phone comes with tons of bloatware and software features, some of which is gimmicky and some of it is rather useful. So without wasting any more time today, I'm bringing you my top 5 software features in absolutely no particular order of the Geoni eLife S7. Let's jump right in. So coming up at number 5 is Geoni's stock system manager application in which you have tons of different utility functions that you might need. And I'm actually a big fan of the fact that you don't have to download third party applications from the store to do simple tasks like this. Now in here you've got your standard app manager, your cache cleaner, you've got your data traffic to set a cellular data limit if you have one. Then you have pure which is basically a greenify built right into the system. But my favorite of all is the power manager from which you can enable the extreme mode which basically puts your phone into a power saving device. Uh, and that is because the phone actually turns black and white and the, since the phone has an AMOLED screen on the front, it saves a lot of power. And it only allows you to access a couple of different applications like the phone application, you've got your messaging, you've got your clock and contacts which can give you about 245 hours of usage time on full charge. That's insane. After that, coming up at number 4 is the camera application. Now in here we've got a plethora of different modes for the camera. We've got your filter mode, you've got your manual mode, which I'm actually a big fan of. You can go ahead and choose uh, your shutter speed, your ISO and whatnot. Uh, you've got your normal, you've got your magic focus, HDR, night mode and tons of other modes built right in. Now I'm really sorry about the quality of the video here, no matter what I tried to do, the screen brightness would not go down. Uh, anyways, besides the manual or the professional mode, one of the other things that I really like in here uh, is gesture shots which actually work pretty accurately and you just need to point a thumbs up or a peace sign towards the camera and it takes a picture. Pretty cool. Coming up at number 3 is if you go to settings then advanced settings, you have a whole list of gestures that you can access, you've got your smart dial, you've got your smart answer, double tap to wake up and double tap to sleep, which is probably the only one that I actually found useful. You even have some touchless gestures where you can hover your palm over the screen to wake it up or move desktop screens or whatnot. Uh, and if you're confused by what a gesture can actually do, you can actually go ahead and tap on it to see more additional information. Coming up at number 2 and this is actually a rather simple one, uh, if you go to settings and then display, you actually have an option to change the virtual key setting of the phone. Uh, now by default it comes pre-selected where you have your recent app key first, uh, then the home key and then the back key, but I'm actually more accustomed to the more standard order which is the back key first, then the home key and the recent app tray uh, key in the end. Uh, but I really like the fact that Geoni has included this option for people who are interested. Lastly, in the control center, you actually have an option to launch the camera application very easily. Uh, but what you don't know is that if you go ahead and tap and hold the camera launch icon for a couple of seconds, it takes a picture from the rear facing camera very, very discreetly. Uh, I don't know why you would do that, but hey, I'm not judging. Uh, also, while we are in the control center, you can also go ahead and tap on this icon right here to initiate a phone call, a fake phone call, uh, where the phone generates a fake call in about 15 seconds. So if that's your thing, this phone has that. So that pretty much wraps it up guys, that was my top 5 Geoni eLife S7 software features. If you like this video or if this video was helpful to you in any kind of way, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up down below. Uh, also make sure to subscribe to the channel as it really helps me a lot and also makes you stay connected with all my latest tech content. Also I'm a real social guy so make sure to follow me on all my social media networks, the links to which will be on screen right now as well as in the description down below. That's been it, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.